Do you happen to know the whereabouts of Conrad Kieser? And what do you want from the old buzzard? What? That old fool? The one who spends his time poring over old books instead of... Take care now. You didn't return the relic. But I... Oh, bugger. How could you do that? It's because of people like you that they won't let decent folk in. Fun at last. Ah! 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 
What? What do you need? Your hunker is... She's dead, and it's your... That's not true. Yes, it is. You encouraged her. It should all have come to an end long ago. It should never have gone as far as it did. Go. Get out of my... Bye. What do you want here? Hop it, or I'll call a guard. Good health to you. Do you happen to know the whereabouts of Conrad Keyser? And what do you want from me, old buzzard? Never mind, what do I... Take care now. The horde of Joshua, you startled me. I thought you were urban. What do you want? Sir, Tobias Fafar, the master builder and engineer from Scalitz, sends his greetings. Fafar? Tobias Fafar? I've heard of him. He invented an interesting mining machine. Uh, what does he need? Sir, have you heard what's been going on in Talmberg? I've heard a thing or two. 
Is it true the castle's been taken? It has, and we want to take it back. Master Fafire has been given the task of building a trebuchet, but he's not sure he can manage it. I doubt it myself. Uh, building siege engines is an entirely different kettle of fish than mining. Damn, I'd like to rain some boulders on those heathens of Sigismund's. But that can't be done with a quill and parchment, and I can't leave here right now. Why can't you leave? That's a long story. I was a little, uh, more than a little, critical. Of, and it might surprise you to know, after that defeat, he didn't particularly... Uh, then when Sigismund abducted the king, I didn't feel... Hmm, perhaps left is the wrong word. Uh, some might say I would... They locked you up in Bethlehem. <laughs> Not quite. It's a royal castle. Frankly, this so-called banishment has been a bit of a blessing. I have peace and quiet to attend to my opus, although I have lost quite a few of my patrons, thanks to all this sun. And why are you here in Sasa? To be honest, I need the money. Money, sir? You don't seem like a man who lives in want. Dear me, no. I don't need it to support myself. It's to fund my opus. Uh, that's why I agreed to help with the cons... What is it you're working on? Belly Fortis. A great book of war machines and weapons. My op... Mark my words. One day, our whole world would be run by machines and in... <laughs> of course. Any day now, they'll plough our fields and milk our cattle. Uh, what did you say? Oh, uh, nothing. Just thinking aloud about uh, things for battle. Could I help you escape, perhaps? Who says I want to? But you said you couldn't leave, sir. Young man, I can't leave because I gave my word I'd help with the building of the... And my word is my bond. I have no intention of sneak... Who do you work for here? My contract is with the abbot himself, but I discuss the work to... Could I not just pay off the master builder for your servant? I doubt it. Carol is only interested in the construction, as long as he has the money. Ah, as long as he has enough for wages, you say? Yes. What are you thinking? Couldn't Carol be persuaded somehow? After all, the defence of the province is... At I realise that, but Sassar Monastery has always kept its neutrality. Uh, what's more, the abbot isn't here at present, but I might have another... What do you suggest? Carol received his commission in writing. If you found it, we could, uh, well, we could copy the abbot's seal and sing... That's a curiously interesting... <laughs> My inventiveness has many applications. I could be back here before the abbot... How do I get my hands on the com- It will be somewhere in his quarters. You'll need to get it quickly and put it back before he notices it's gone. I suggest waiting until evening. That's when Carol usually goes to the tavern to play dice. He's fond of his dice. Maybe you can take advantage of that. Right. I'll see what I can do. You really can't come with me right away. I'd like to rain some boulders on those heathens of Sigismund's, but that can't be done with a quill and parchment, and I can't leave here right now. Hmm. I'll try and find... Look here, I don't want any trouble. You better talk to Carral. The...
Greetings. I've got that commission. Not so loud. For the very thing. Go to the Sassau scribe and say to him, the fox isn't half as clever. Is that a password? <laughs> Just so. He then all you have to do is take the new document to Carol and tell him a messenger. All right. But most importantly, do it quickly and put the commission back. Carol's no fool. If he can't find it, he'll put two and two together when you bring him the new document, and the game will... I'm at your service, Sir Knight. I have a message for you. Hmm? The fox is a lot cleverer than it thinks. What? Um, the password? What in heaven's name are you blabbering about? Conrad Kieser sent me. Why the hell didn't you say so? That sod. He deliberately lied to me to make me look stupid. Well, never mind. What do you want? I've got this document here, and I, I need to have a different one drawn up with, um, the same... So Conrad is still up to his old tricks. Let's see it then. Hmm. All right. Give me an hour. I hope I won't... Take care now.
Is it done? Here you are. And pass on my back. Very well. Yeah. Yeah. Hope I can be a A messenger brought a dispatch for you. Hmm. How very convenient. The hand of fate. We'll see what fate brings. I have an authorization letter of my own from the abbot, and if your letter of patent is fake, you'll be in trouble. Come with me. May the Lord watch over you.
So Conrad may leave. He can. The letter of patent is genuine. When the app wonderful, I'll tell him. Good luck to you. Jesus, I knew this day would come. What? Who is? Carol said you can leave and... Leave? I can't even set foot outside the door. Not now. Please, calm down and tell me what's going on. <sighs> They're after me. Who? Who's after you? Sigismund's people, of course. Why would they be after you? because he's never forgiven my criticisms of Nicopolis. Now he's decided to pay me back. What am I to do? What makes you think someone's after you? When I was on my way to Sassau, I saw Baron Pekar in Kostelitz. He was with Sigismund on the crusade, as was I. Now I've been told he was seen at the local tavern. And a stranger's been creeping around the gardens here late at night. My God, there are signs someone was trying to force the door. They're after me, Henry. The Lord preserve me. They want to kill me. Take it easy. If someone's after you, I'll see to him. I'll have a sniff around the town or lie in wait for him. I don't know. What if he sneaks past you? He won't, I promise. I'll hide in the garden, and if anyone starts creeping around after dark, I'll catch him. You will, won't you? Good, good. And be sure to hide well. If he sees you, he won't come.
Good day to you. Don't you find it dull here? It's hell on earth. Special. I wish we could go back to Bethlehem. Do you know anything about our master Paycar? It rings a bell. Is he some kind of merchant? No, no. That was a man by a similar name. Good luck to you. Good fella. That's my boy. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. Let's see what you can sniff out here. Seek. I feel quite hungry.
I hope I can be of help to you. Do you know anything about our master Paycar? That nobleman that showed up recently. They say he's staying at the local inn. God be with you. Yeah. I hope I can be of help to you, Knight. Would you be Master Paycar? I would. With whom do I have the pleasure? Henry of Scullets. And what do you want from me, Henry of Scullets? To ask why you've come to Sassau. An interrogation, then, I see. On business, of course. And who is it you're doing business with? <laughs> Why don't you ask about my mistresses instead? My trade partners are my own private concern. Stay away from Master Kieser. Kieser? Conrad Kieser? Why should I want anything to do with him? So he doesn't need to worry about you? Worry? Good Lord, no. Why? We were friends. Right, that'll be everything. As the master instructs. Farewell. Yeah. I left Prague, didn't I? Why do they want to kill me now? They're after me, damn it!
I met frogs and tried. Why do they want to kill me now? God be with you. Take care now. Greetings. How are the men holding up? They're a rabble. The out-of-towners are desperate to go home. And the locals, they got nowhere else to go. So they just generally complain. Are they causing trouble? No trouble. But there might be a simpler solution. Whipping a man, simple enough. Just give one of them a beating, the others will remember. When they forget, do it again. But then you'd have an injured soldier. It occurred to me a herbal potion might do the trick. I never heard of any wives' quackery helping troop morale. How goes it, Sir Bernard? How goes it? We're sitting here under the castle, and all day long there's folks hewing stones. My ears are ringing as if I'd been struck on the head. Which it... I felt that way too since the night. That went horribly wrong. And even so. Take care. Take care. My respects to you. How are we doing with the food? 
Who wants to know? One of their... No, no, I just wondered if there was anything you're short of. Oh, I see. The Lordling is wondering if we're in urgent need of anything. Yes, I've heard something like that. <laughs> I'll say. Every other man's moaning on about it. The... Fine, I'll keep that in mind. I brought you some meat. Stack it over here. <laughs> What's going on? You said you were bringing meat. Do we have any beer? Christ, I wish we did. Our ale's all gone and we've drained the local inn dry. <sighs> That's bad. Don't, and the lads too. Farewell. Yeah! God bless you. What? How do you feel, Sir Divish? I felt better, boy. I feel awful, truth be told. Let someone tend to the wound and you'll soon be better. My flesh can be healed, perhaps. But the spirit... What is it you need, sir? I need a priest as well as a physician. The closest was in Rovna. But I don't know what happened to him. Godwin. But why would you need a priest? The wound will heal, especially... It's not about me. I've got a lot of wounded here that won't see mourning and dead men. God be with you. We can take care of it ourselves.
I hope. I need to bring a few cakes. I've hardly any beer left, but I have got a lot of goats. How are things here? <laughs> Everyone here tries to help their neighbour, but it ain't easy. Just the other day there was a fellow here from Rovna complaining about how things are there. How are things? Oh, fair. Yeah.
Yeah. Yeah. I hope I can be a... I brought you some meat. Stack it over here. <laughs> What's going on? You said you were bringing... Take care now.
God be with you. The troops are falling asleep on guard duty. There's a recipe I know. I could brew up enough for two or three men with one. No, I need enough for a whole bloody encampment. That much? It would take me a week just to pick the herbs for it. Unless you were to do a bit of the legwork. Seems only reasonable. Hmm. One handful of valerian and... Very well. So what goes into the brew? At least two handfuls. All right. I was at the Ujit women's Sabbath. And how did it turn out? The women were making such a ruckus, the woodcutters took them for witches and burst in on them. They meant to kill them. Jesus Christ. I killed them all. Killed them? God Almighty. You killed the men who went to see what all the noise was. I didn't have much of a choice. There was no talking with them. They were determined to kill them. Holy Mother of God, you're my witness. I meant no harm. Forgive my sin. And as for you, may the Lord watch over you. Goodbye.
I brought you. about that manuscript you lent me? Ah, the opus of Matthew of Yanov. I will... Thanks, my son. There's something I need from you, Father God. Is there, my son? How can I help? There are a lot of dead and wounded at Talmud, and no one to make the sign of... I'd like to help, but sadly I simply can't. My own parishioners are watching me closely, and if I make just one fault... But Sir Divish himself... If he wants me, let him come and speak to me himself. But I'm not going anywhere. It's your fault I have to live with- I never forced you to do anything. And just because I didn't help you out, you're denying God's forgiveness. How dare you? Do you think I'd stoop to such pettiness? My reasons are honourable. All right, all right, I understand. So why don't you turn it round on them? Why don't you say you'll go to Talmbo because it's the right thing to do and your Christian duty, even though you might be shot in the process? Sebastian, that might help, I suppose. Tell me the truth. It is a siege. But all the camps are well out of range, so you don't have to worry about... Well, I'll see how the martyrdom angle works, and then I'll go. At least getting out of here for a while will give me a break from all those judgmental looks. To forgive is human, damn it! Or is it to err that's human? I can never remember. God save you. I need to bring a few kegs of beer back to town, though. I've hardly any beer left, but I have got a lot of goat's milk. Do you think that might lift their spirits? Is there anything suspicious? Nothing out of the ordinary. 